We are now live, uh, live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So uh, those of you that are tuning in on either, feel free to share the link with your friends. That way we can uh, uh, get everybody logged in and we'll start uh, the actual 2021 District 12 Forge Photography Awards uh, in just a couple of minutes. So give everybody a chance to uh, log in. And for those of you that are watching live on Facebook, uh, I try to keep an eye on the comments screen. Uh, someone would please put a comment in there, making sure that uh, y'all can hear me okay. And uh, video and sound quality are, are good. There's about 15 of you on Facebook, 14 or so on Facebook, and uh, about just as many on YouTube. So I'm watching uh, both of those. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. Thank you, Richard. Richie. You in that military talk. Roger, Roger. So we'll wait a couple of minutes. Uh, we're scheduled to start right at 4.30. So I wanted to uh, give everybody an opportunity. You can see kind of the, the, the timer on your screen there. Uh, we'll start right after 4 30 just give everybody a chance to log in this afternoon it's friday uh as some might say and so uh i know a lot of people are getting off work ready to start the weekend early um and look forward to to uh, doing this live stream this afternoon i will continue so i see richie's on uh shanna Cantu, welcome uh, Marion Purchase, welcome to you. Thank you. Linda Rodriguez, uh, wishing all of the 4 H members good luck. Thank you for that, Linda. I, I think they appreciate that. And uh, Mari, how are you? Good to see you. I got a message uh, through the little uh, Tweety Bird that you said hi, so a hi back to you, Mari. Uh, Cherie Almond, perfect, all the way from Frio County. Glad you could join us this afternoon, Cherie. Uh, we've got a few, about 20 or so on uh, on Facebook and about uh, half that amount on YouTube and we will uh, get started in just a minute. Um, we're scheduled to start, I uh, clearly didn't edit my, my uh, text, it says we'll start at 6 and the time is 4.30 but we're actually not starting at 6, we're starting at 4.30 so I don't think anybody wants to wait till uh, 6 o'clock. So, uh, Cynthia Gray, I see uh, you're on. Great. Jennifer Jones and uh, Andy and Erica Valdez, all the way from Falcurias, Texas, Brooks County. Welcome uh, to y'all, and we'll get started here in just a second. Give everybody a chance to kind of let folks know that we're live. If you want to post a comment on Facebook, Feel free, uh, little words of encouragement. Of course, the judging process is already done, but I know the 4-H members and family members that are watching uh, are always excited to get those little votes of encouragement. Uh, so we're really excited um, and we will get started. It's 4.31 on my clock and I like to start on time. So uh, we're going to transition and I just want to welcome everybody to the 2021 District 12 4-H Photography Contest Awards. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this specific live stream, and I'll tell you why. Uh, we started the uh, give you a little history on the on the district photography contest. Um, many many years ago, the photography contest was just for seniors, and only senior 4-H members could submit them, and they would submit them uh, mounted, printed and mounted. And so we would all gather and uh, judge photos and. Uh, by the end of the day, all the, the photos were judged, but there wasn't any opportunity for juniors and intermediates to be involved in the photography contest. So we created the district photography contest uh, for just juniors and intermediates. The seniors, that was the stepping stone that, gets, that got to the state photography contest. Well, over the years, um, that evolved in, and uh, the juniors and intermediates had their contest and the seniors had their contest. And then the state contest changed where seniors could send theirs in directly from the county, so there was no need to go through district. And uh, we added 
seniors to the district photography contest. So it's had a long history and we're just excited at the opportunity to present uh, 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 this opportunity to 4-H members across the district. And uh, in 2013, which is eight years ago, prior to that, all the photos were in print form. So you had to print them and mount them on mat board. In 2013, we transitioned. That was the year we added seniors into our photography contest. And it was also the year that we went digital, meaning the photos were all submitted electronically. And we hadn't looked back since. But one of the unique things about the photography contest that we've never been able to do, and that's why I'm really excited about this particular live stream, is we've never had the opportunity to recognize publicly in this kind of a setting the 4-H members for, do, for the great work that they did uh, in submitting and taking and submitting those photos. So that's why I'm excited about today's live stream, because this is our first time ever to be able to recognize these 4-H members publicly among their friends and family, uh, uh, and it's well-deserved, so I'm really excited for that. I know you don't want to listen to me. You want to hear the awards. I do want to do a little quick shout-out to Clarissa Cantu, the county extension agent in Cameron County, for uh, being chair of the committee and uh, helping kind of frame everything for this year's contest, as well as the rest of the committee. And I will have you know, I know this has been a while, uh, but we had, all, we had 359 or 349 photos submitted, it's the most we've ever had. And uh, we had over a thousand judges scorecards to sort through. So if you can imagine, that was quite a task to go through there, sort all of those for each one of those 4-H uh, entries, uh, but it was well worth it. And, and hopefully you'll see by the end of this live stream uh, how good these photos really were. So y'all ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. Let's see, um, look at that over at Facebook. Let's see who else has joined us. Uh, Rhonda Mathis, welcome, and Lisa Gonzalez, uh, Borderline, glad to have you, Marisa Calderon, um, let's see, Mary Galindo, and uh, good, good luck to all the 4-H members. So let's go ahead and get started with our awards. Uh, we're going to transition into the actual presentation, and so here we go. So we're going to start in a specific way, and I will tell you that uh, with 359 entries, we're not going to recognize all 359. Uh, that information at the conclusion of this live stream will be posted uh, on our District 12 uh, uh, website. So you can go, go, just go to the D District 12 website, go to the photography contest page, and you'll see a link there as soon as this live stream is over, give or take about five minutes. And you'll get to see all of the uh, contestants, how they did individually. We're only going to focus on the best of class. That means within each age division, within each category, we'll be highlighting the, the best of class for each of those. Um, so each photographer or each 4-H photographer will get either a, red, a blue, red, or white award based on the quality of, of their, their uh, photo. And, and please know that they're all excellent uh, photos, uh, but there is a little variability in there, so just know that there's blue, reds, and whites, and they're all, they're all great. So let's move on uh, to the first category. So the first category is animals domestic, and so we're going to go through these, and I'm going to share with you the best of class in each age division. So we'll cover the, the best of class in the junior age division for animals domestic, the intermediate in animals domestic, and then the senior in uh, animals domestic. And the winners of each of these best of class, aside from their blue, red, or white uh, ribbon, uh, the best of class will get a beautiful rosette that'll be part of uh, their recognition package. So let's get started with animals domestic, and we'll start with the junior division. So uh, best of class in the junior age division, animals domestic, goes to Levi Robbins from Hidalgo County with that beautiful photo, um, uh, kind of like a sunset with that dog. Really great photo. Congratulations to Levi. Let's give him a hand. I'm going to move into the intermediate division. In the intermediate division, I don't know if they're related or not, but Wyatt Robbins from Hidalgo County gets best of class with that beautiful photo of those uh, uh, goats, those... Uh, uh, breeding goats or market goats can't tell from here but uh, another great photo so congratulations to Wyatt for doing a great job and our senior division animals domestic best of class 
goes to Zachary Gray from Cameron County. Congratulations. What cute little pair of pigs there, uh, Zachary. Great job on that photo. We're going to move into the next category. Next category is animals wildlife. Again, we'll go through the junior, then the intermediate, then the senior. So in our animals wildlife, um, the junior best of class goes to Lillianne Murphy from Live Oak County. Congratulations. Uh, what beautiful colors in that image. Uh, great job to, to Lillianne. You can see the fish in there. Really cute. It reminds me of Finding Nemo, the movie Finding Nemo. In our intermediate division, best of class, animals wildlife goes to Eli Walker from Jim Wells County. Congratulations to Eli. Uh, the year of the cicada is this year, I think, is what I've been hearing on the news. And then in our senior division, in the animals wildlife, again, from Cameron County, Zachary Gray. And congratulations to that uh, uh, for that beautiful photo of a mockingbird and the little uh, little bitty mockingbirds it reminded me of uh, my kids talking to me when when they were young. I'm not sure if they were wanting to eat or they were yelling at me. One of the two. But congratulations to Zachary. Okay, that takes us to the next category, which is catch all. And in catch all, we'll start with the juniors. Best of class in the junior division goes to Kyle Teague from Jim Wells County. Uh, captured those uh, icicles uh, in that photo. Really cute. Very good, uh, good photo. Congratulations to Kyle. In the intermediate division, goes to Mike Hassel from Frio County. Congratulations to Mike. Uh, great portrait photo, a photo there of a rose with looks like a class ring in it. So congratulations to uh, uh, to Mike from Frio County for best of class in the intermediate catch all. In the senior catch-all, goes to Clarissa Salazar from Webb County. Congratulations to Clarissa uh, with that uh, really cool uh, campfire photo. Takes us to our next category, details and macro. Details and macro, uh, we'll go through the junior, then the intermediate, and the senior, and we'll start with the juniors. Best of class goes to Lillianne Murphy again. She's a two-time winner. It goes to uh, uh, Live Oak County, so congratulations to Lillianne in the intermediate division. Best of class goes to Keaton Fawn from Cameron County. I'm not sure how he did that uh, uh, or how Keaton did that, but that's pretty cool is to have a uh, leaf made out of ice. Uh, really great, great capture there. And our senior details and macro goes to Reagan Shahan from Frio County. Congratulations. What beautiful colors on that um, uh, scarab beetle. So great job to Reagan. Okay, that takes us to our next category, which is elements of design. In our elements of design, we'll start with our juniors. And our first place, or best of class in the... Uh, Elements of design uh, goes to Jimmy Jones from Live Oak County. Congratulations, Jimmy. Great photo of looks like a Western uh, Diamondback. I hope that wasn't alive. That's all I can say. You got that close. Uh, intermediate goes to Miranda Gonzalez from Hidalgo County. And I looked at this photo and I looked at it and I looked at it and I looked at it hard trying to figure out where, it, where could that photo have been taken uh, 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 where that photo could have been taken, and I finally saw the word Yeti in the background. So that looked like it's through some uh, uh, really cool uh, lid or cover or something. So congratulations to Miranda uh, in the intermediate best of class for elements of design. And in the senior division, the class winner, best of class, goes to Adam Tijerina from Jim Wells County. A great, uh, great image there for uh, Adam as well. So congratulations to them. On, in the next category, which is the enhanced, and this gives uh, 4-H members the ability to manipulate photos uh, and, and enhance photos electronically. So we'll go into that division and we'll start with our junior best, best of class. Junior best of class in the enhanced category goes to Giada Gonzalez from Dimmick County with a beautiful peacock uh, photo. Congratulations to Giada for doing a great job. In the intermediate division, enhanced, 
That goes to Aiden Lorberau from Jim Wells County with that uh, really cool photo of that old tractor. So congratulations. I think that's a farm model, if I'm not mistaken. But congratulations to Aiden. Great job there. And the senior enhanced goes to Zachary Gray from Cameron County. That looks something right out of a, uh, a promotional catalog for Dodge pickups. Uh, so congratulations to Zachary for uh, doing a great job on that photo. And in our next category, which is food, and everybody loves food, I think uh, all the photos that were in the food were exceptional. Uh, maybe I'm just hungry it's late in the day and I'm hungry and so uh, they're, they're ringing true right now a little bit more than, than, than maybe before. So we'll start with the juniors. Best of class goes to Gabriela Mercado from Jim Wells County with the beautiful Granny Smith apples, green apples. Congratulations to uh, Gabriela. And best of class intermediate in food. I really like this one. There's all kinds of things that I liked about this photo. Lorelei Martinez from Hidalgo County. Congratulations. Uh, those blueberries in that bowl. The lighting was great. Uh, composition was great. Excellent. So uh, great job to Lorelei. And in the senior division, another really great one. It looks like it comes straight out of a food magazine. Uh, goes to Andres Cantu from Star County uh, with this layout. Congratulations to all three of those 4-H members for doing a great job in the food category. So uh, that moves us into the next category, which will be landscape and nature. Landscape and nature. We'll start with our junior best of class in landscape and nature. That goes to Easton Porter from LaSalle County. Congratulations for that beautiful uh, sunset with uh, uh, South Texas brush on the bottom. Great job to Easton. In the intermediate division, best of class goes to Grace Fry from Clayburg Kennedy County. <clears throat> Congratulations to Grace for uh, taking that beautiful photo. And then senior division goes to Juan Ledesma from Hidalgo County of prickly pear cactus with um, a uh, little bit of a Charlotte's web there, a web in front of it with a little of that morning dew. Uh, uh, on it. So congratulations to Juan on uh, landscape and nature. In the leading lines, leading lines category, our junior best of class goes to Matthew Ponce from Dimmit County. Congratulations to uh, Matthew. Uh, what a great photo. Really cool. Intermediate Courtney Wenches from Live Oak County. Congratulations to Courtney for that uh, photo. And our senior goes to Adam Tijerina from Jim Wells County for our best of class in our leading line category. Our next category is long exposure. I'm looking down at the chat. Everything looks good. All right. Uh, long exposure. Our junior long exposure winner goes to Miss Molly McManus from Clayburgh Kennedy County. Congratulations. I have some ideas on what, on how she did that, but Molly and I are going to have to talk a little bit. I, I like some more uh, 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 of her tips on that. Uh, congratulations to Molly for the junior best of class in long exposure in the intermediates. Goes to Julie Jones from Live Oak County. Congratulations to Julie. Uh, and in our senior division, goes to Adam Tijerina from Jim Wells County. Congratulations to Adam. That uh, waterfall scene looks really cool. Takes us to our next category, which is motion and action. Uh, motion and action. So our junior best of class goes to uh, Sergio Regalado from Brooks County. Congratulations, Sergio, for doing a great job. Uh, I'm a bit of a chicken fan myself, and I've, uh, I've encountered... Uh, one of those uh, death-defying uh, chickens attacking me in the past, uh, in the recent past. So, uh, great, great capture there, Sergio. Uh, intermediates, Reagan Aguilar from Atascosa County with her best of class in motion and action, which I think that was a really cool photo. Uh, everything behind uh, that subject is spinning, so that's really cool. And in our senior division, uh, goes to... I think that's number four, Zachary. Zachary Gray from Cameron County with motion and action. Uh, great photo there. Um, 
by Zachary. Takes us to our next category, which is people. Always hard uh, uh, subjects or people. A junior, best of class, goes to Cody Fry from Clayburgh Kennedy County. Congratulations. Our intermediate goes to Tatum Helmer from Cameron County. Congratulations on that uh, nice black and white. And our senior goes to Hallie DeGosh from Frio County. Congratulations to Hallie uh, on your best of class photo in the people category. Our next category is plant and flora. Our junior best of class goes to Madison Purchase from Atascosa County. Congratulations to uh, Madison. That's a, I'm not, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm not a botanist, but that looks like a, a beautiful sunflower. So congratulations to Madison for that great uh, capture there. Intermediate, Cadence Copeland, another pretty flower. Congratulations to Cadence uh, from Cameron County for a uh, best of class in the plant and flora. And in the senior plant and flora goes to Jessica Hill from Atascosa County with those uh, really cute photos of those, a uh, photo of those uh, cactus uh, pears. In the shadow and silhouette, we're getting uh, close to the end here, folks. We've got a couple of uh, categories left. In the shadow and silhouette, in our junior best of class goes to Aiden Gonzalez from Star County. Congratulations, Aiden. A uh, great photo there. In our intermediates goes to Lindley Searles. And I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Searles or Searles from Frio County. Congratulations to Lindley for... I can see that being published in any one of the number of uh, farm magazines. So uh, what a great job uh, to Lindley on that. And then seniors, Reagan Shahan from Frio County in Shadows and Silhouette. Congratulations to Reagan for her best, uh, 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 best of class photo. We got one category left, and then we have a couple of other tiers of, of awards that we want to present. So that takes us into our last category. Our last category is our theme, and the theme for this year was forced perspective, forced perspective. So our junior best of class in forced perspective goes to Giada Gonzalez from Dimmick County. Congratulations to Giada. Doing a great job. In our intermediate division, goes to Julie Jones from Live Oak County. Congratulations, Julie. In our senior theme, goes to Sarah Adams from LaSalle County. Congratulations to Sarah. What a great job on that photo. We've had several photos with prickly pear in them, and um, all of them a little bit different. So we're... we're uh, uh, glad to see all of these 4-H members submit all of these photos. So that that concludes all of the best of class. We have another couple of tiers, and so I want to explain that just a little bit. So we take all of the juniors, and we compare all of the juniors across all 15 categories. And so the 15 best of class compete for best of show. And so we do that in the junior division, in the intermediate division, and the senior division. So... The next uh, uh, group of photos are going to be the junior, the intermediate, and the senior best of show. Now, well, the cool thing is each one of these 4-H photographers, as their prize, as their award, is going to be this photo studio lighting kit. That includes the backdrop, all of the little uh, umbrellas, the light stands, all of those things, plus a carrying case, all of those things. They're already sitting here in a box in my office. I actually had them since March. And so each one of these three photographers will get one of these uh, stands. So congratulations to three. We'll start with the junior. And so our junior best of show goes to Molly McManus from Clayburgh Kennedy County. Congratulations to Molly with a, that great photo. In our intermediate division, best of show is going to be Wyatt Robbins from Hidalgo County with that photo of those goats. So congratulations to Wyatt. And our best of show in the senior division is going to go to the Mockingbirds by Zachary Gray from Cameron County. Congratulations to uh, Zachary. 
uh, all three, Molly, uh, Wyatt, and Zachary, will each get one of those photo studio lighting kits as their award. They're, they're, uh, they're really cool lighting kits. In fact, I have one myself here at the office that we use from time to time, and I know they're going to enjoy that. So that takes us to the end, the very last award. And so that would be this year is the first time we've ever done a grand champion. And so what we did was we took the three best of shows. And from those three, we're selecting a grand champion. And the grand champion this year will get a subscription to Lightroom, which is a professional photo editing software. And so uh, we're excited to give that uh, a subscription to the grand champion from this year's photography contest. And this year's grand champion goes to the Mockingbirds by Zachary Gray from Cameron County. Congratulations to Zachary, great job. Uh, what an amazing photo. And we're certainly proud of each and every one of these 4-H members for uh, doing a great job of taking and submitting and preparing these photos. Uh, we want to congratulate each and every one of them. I want to thank everybody that's on Facebook Live or on YouTube Live and um, watching this. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to congratulate all these 4-H members. Uh, we're certainly proud of each and every one of them. Um, like I said at the beginning, I'm excited that we're having the opportunity for the first time that we've ever had this photography contest to be able to recognize these 4-H members and the great work they did in such a public way. And so uh, I think uh, this is one of those silver linings in the circumstances that we're in uh, that really made us look outside the box and look at ways to do this. On one final last note, I will tell you uh, this. I've had this up in our office down here in the hallway and uh, I have not changed it in several years, but I think we're gonna change it this year. We have, a, uh, there's approximately six photos on the wall that we highlight uh, photos. So I'll be selecting, they won't necessarily be uh, the best of shows or the grand champions, or, or they won't exclude those, but I will be selecting uh, six photos. I'm just call them the editor's choice, and uh, they're more intended to be a little bit uh, uh, more inclusive in terms of subject matter and things like that. But I will be selecting six photos and be uh, printing and mounting them on the wall. They'll be displayed here all year long here at the Texas AgriLife uh, Research and Extension Center. And so I'm excited to do that. And as soon as I get that, uh, those photos printed and mounted on the wall, I'll snap a, a snapshot of it and I'll be glad to post it on Facebook so that y'all can see and, and uh, recognize those 4-H members that took those photos. So congratulations to all of the 4-H members. Uh, thank you all for joining us today and uh, keep snapping those photos. Congratulations, and we'll see you soon.